I, I also want to say one word about provisional applications. Um, I, I see you know, a lot of entrepreneurs have heard about provisional patent filings and they think of it as a way to quickly and cheaply get an application on file with the patent office. Um, recognizing that they have to convert it to a non-provisional filing uh, no more than a year later, but you know, they think that they're covered. And it's very important to understand that a provisional application only covers what you put in it. It only is helpful if it ultimately supports the claim that you submit in your non-provisional application. Uh, if it doesn't support it, if there are things in your combination that you want to protect that aren't in that provisional, it's essentially as if you never filed the provisional, and it's, it's worthless. And not only is it worthless, but it's, it's potentially damaging because you as the entrepreneur have been out there publishing your, your, your inventions and, and selling your products or prototypes, thinking that you were protected when in reality you're not, and you lose that priority date because you know, what, what ends up truly being the invention, which is really only decided once a patent attorney says, what's the invention? What are we trying to protect? What is the claim going to be? Until you go through that process, it's easy to, to maybe miss an element of that, something that could be important to the overall combination that's invented. So provisional applications um, can be useful and, and can be uh, can provide some flexibility in some scenarios, but you need to be very careful with that. So, a word of caution.